Our stories of globe-trotting Tar Heels don't end there. Do you know where the Azores Islands are? Don't worry, you're not alone. The Azores are little known Portuguese archipelago smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic, and many people believe it to be the location of the lost island of Atlantis. A group of students spent their summers on one of the nine islands. Reporter Brenna Sukir has the story. Sophomore Tess McGatt is a linguistics major from Raleigh. Today, she's sitting in Linguistics 537, but just a few months ago, she traveled across the Atlantic to the Azores Islands to be the one in front of the classroom. I taught a group of uh, 13 advanced uh, Portuguese English students. McGat landed the teaching position through the Atlantis Project, a summer program founded by a former UNC student from the Azores. McGat spent five weeks living on Tosida Island, where she taught at Base 5, a summer academy focused on improving English proficiency. Students range from as young as six to as old as 50, which McGat says proved to be rather challenging. We came in there, we didn't know pretty much anything about their experience, so we didn't know how much English they knew, um, how capable they were of speaking English at all, and it took us a while to figure out um, how we could help them in the best way to improve their English. Tosada has a population of only 60,000, and many of the youth have dreams too big for such a tiny island. They believe English is the key to helping them achieve those dreams. Brothers Hugo and Fabio Diaz were both students in McGat's class. They signed up for Base 5 for that very reason. Their goal? To live and work in America. America is a big country, that, it's a bigger country than Portugal, so um, I have more poss possibilities to do the to work where uh, where I want. And Fabio feels the same. It's easier there to take a job than here, and um, it's uh, better to live like better conditions to live. Both brothers say their English improved significantly after Base Five, but they aren't the only ones who learned something this summer. This was McGat's first time leaving the country, and she says the lessons she learned in the Azores have followed her back to UNC. There's something known as kind of like the island attitude. People are much more relaxed. Nobody really cares about being on time, so it's just a completely different culture. And being surrounded by that, you kind of get absorbed into it. And you really get into the hang of it. And coming back here, um, I tr kind of tried to bring it back with me to this kind of like relaxed, uh, stress-free kind of attitude. So although McGat is back in Tar Heel territory, she's managed to keep a touch of Tersida with her. She plans to travel abroad again next summer, and it's all thanks to her time in the Azores. Just like it did for the Diaz brothers, the small island of Tersida has sparked big dreams for McGat. In Chapel Hill and the Azores, I'm Brenna Sukir.